Hey Geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we've got some great giveaways coming up. Luke, I am your father. Oh wait a minute, dang it, wrong Vader. Geeks, what's poppin'? WWE Elite Collection for Mattel, Big Van Vader in the house. That portrait on the side of the box nails him perfectly. If you're old enough to remember Vader, then you know that's that crazy look he had. Big Van Vader, WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WCW United States Champion. Big Van Vader, titles, WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WCW United States Champion. Memorable moment. The man they call Vader raised the bar for athletic big men. Ever since his debut at the Great American Bash 1990, it was apparent to everyone that Big Van Vader was a special kind of performer. Vicious, physically intimidating, powerful, agile, and aggressive, Vader brutalized his opponents inside the ring. It wasn't long before he destroyed Sting for the first of his three WCW World Championships and literally tore apart Cactus Jack in some of the most violent clashes seen inside of the ring. His success in WCW catapulted him into the WWE main event scene. Yeah, brutal. Rest of the Wave, Diamond Dallas Page, John Cena, Brutus Beefcake. I gotta get my hands on that Brutus Beefcake. Nice box insert. McFarlane, pay attention. Cage match! Athletic big man booty shot. All right, we got a set of opening hands here. Looks like they can kind of grip the ring rope. And we've got this awesome face sculpt on this alternate head. Man, that true effects label on the box doesn't always hold up, but here, this man, that's Vader. That is Vader. And he also got his psycho creepy face mask. That used to freak me out when I was young. And you got his Mad Max football gear. All right, so me lucky like already, although I see quite a few paint blemishes on there. I mean, the QC on this guy obviously isn't super tight, because I mean, I've counted at least four or five. So paint job I can already tell is not gonna be that impressive, but he does look good. He's big, he's stout. Biceps look a little bit off, but we'll dig into that when we get closer up. Let's gander at him. Let's bask in his glory for a little bit. Keith Lee. All right, so not to start off negative, a few things I noticed about this guy. The skin tone for his torso and for his arms, totally different. You can see how on this camera, you can see in this light how it looks a little bit yellow. It doesn't have that yellow tint to it, but it is definitely more tan. And that's kind of off-putting there. Now, a lot of paint blemishes. Red paint here, black paint on the seam lines here. And you can see the black bleeding through right there on his neck. He's got red paint on the front of his shoulder, black and red paint there on the side of his chest. Paint on his bicep. Bleed through also up here on the other side by his neck. And down here on his shorts, I don't know what that is. It's discoloration. I don't know. He's got like a white hazy glaze over him. Yeah, poor QC on this one. Legs look okay, just upper body. But yeah, it looks, with all these blemishes and I don't know what that is, like dried glue on it, it just looks cheap. Not a good start. All right, so it ships with his mass head sculpt. That does look good. I wish that they had gone with a little bit more high gloss so it would look more like uh, that faux leather that he used in the ring. Instead, it's a very matte, dull finish on it. But the sculpt is good. That's what he looked like with his mask off. I like the fact that he has his mouth wide open. So that in itself is pretty cool.
Let's see what that head do. 360 all around, nice and stiff. Left tilt, right tilt not as much. Straight up, now tell me do you love me? That is looking up, not a lot of range there. Although his eyes are kind of pointing upwards so it makes it look like it's looking up more. That's looking down. Chin not buried deep in the chest. Arms go parallel to the shoulders. Ugh, that back discoloration, man. Arms do sit wide. They don't come in very close to his chest. So you can see there that there's gonna be no bear hugging going on there. And as far as going back, it's parallel with his back. Doesn't go back much further. Not a lot of range there. Definitely no butterfly joints. Full 360 at the shoulder. 360 at the bicep. Not a big fan of the way that this shoulder ball fits in that bicep, but even though it's carved out to fit around it, it looks kind of funny, even when it's set right. No forearm swivel. Do have a wrist swivel. Somewhat repulsor blast. It looks kind of off because the shoulder doesn't go up high enough and that elbow locks low. You see that angle scooping down. If the arm would go up further, it would look more like a repulsor blast prop. If the arm would go up further, it would look more like a repulsor blast proper. Hold my hand, sweetie. Kiss the ring. Sinful single jointed elbow, you get just at 90 degrees. All right, so he's got this big abdominal hinge here. Let's see what we get out of it. Decent lean forward. And decent lean back as well. Get a 360 at the waist, really loose. Very little kick forward, virtually no kick back. Leg staying straight there. He does get a bit of a bend there. Athletic big man is right. Leap over that top rope, big boy. Three sixty at the thigh almost escaped me. That black on black was kind of hard to see. Nice and loose. Double jointed knees. Big A rubber knee pads keep it from bending all the way, but he still gets decent range, even with the pad on there. If you pull the pad down, he gets really good range. See, he's kicking his butt. Bitch's got crazy toe range. He's a ballerina. Look at that. He's moonwalking all over him. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm really digging this alternate head here. And I like the way his hands kind of out there. Why can't I have more pie? Mama, why? And there he is with his hand swapped out. And I put his Vader mask on. The eyes on this guy are insanely detailed. Look at his eyes. Very realistic looking. That bad boy is scary. Look into my eyes. Yeah. This brings back a lot of memories. Dope. All right, so a lot of QC issues on this guy. The paint, the mismatched colors of the back versus the arms, the shape of the biceps. A lot of things I'm not happy with. His abdominal crunch joint's also a little bit loose. When I put that helmet on him, he kept uh, kind of sliding back because of the weight of it. But all that being said, I love him, man. Even with the QC issues, He's awesome. He's very striking, very realistic, looks like Vader. I just have to say that the QC issues kept what is a really great figure from being phenomenal. Now this just might be mine. You might get yours out of the box and the paint's perfect, joints are nice and stiff, then you won't have to worry about the complaints I have. But as is the one I have, I do have those complaints. But I don't regret buying him because he looks awesome and I'm gonna have fun posing this guy in the ring. Let me know what you think, guys. This is only my second review for a WWE figure. Matter of fact, I think it's only my second review for Mattel, so I'm still getting used to the differences there. But go ahead and sound off in the comments. Were you able to get your hands on this guy? Are you a Vader fan? Are you gonna look for him now that you've seen this? I think he's awesome. 
on your way out, make sure to mash that like button. It really helps. That's what YouTube tells us. We need the like button, the like button, the like button. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm gonna be doing a lot of wrestling figures coming up. Share this link with another WWE, AEW, or just a wrestling fan in general. I'm gonna keep pumping these out as quickly as I can. Till next time, Vader out.